Hey, I want to talk to you right now about scaling a business and the three things you need to scale a business. But uh, I got to get out of the shop here because it's going crazy. I'm at the Canadian Hot Tub Company today. Here's what I'd like to know. I want to use the Canadian Hot Tub Company as a case study for all my followers. We bought the company seven weeks ago. We've uh, literally took the first four weeks and diagnosed what was going on with the company, what we're doing. And now we're implementing our plan to scale. When we bought the company, they did $1.8 million in revenue in the previous year. And we're putting a plan together right now to take the company to $100 million dollars in revenue in a methodical way that's based on revenue growing etc so what i'm wondering is i'm trying to find a quiet quiet place to talk to you guys right now <laughs> what i'm wondering is would you guys appreciate if i did videos regularly on this page and walked you through the process so you can see how i'm scaling it just go into the chat and just say yes or let me know if that's the case and what i want to talk to you about right now is three things that are kind of essential ingredients that you need to have if you're going to scale any business. And it's a great case study because this is a 45 year old company that has done a whole bunch of different things, highs and lows over the years. So we're grabbing it 45 years old and we're literally going to scale it to a hundred million dollars a year in revenue. And um, I just thought it'd be really cool if you guys all say yes, if I get like hundreds of people that say yes, then I promise you at least once a week, I'll do another video and I'll just, you can go on the journey with me. You can learn how to scale a business at the same time. And I promise I'll never turn it into a course and try and sell it to you. I'll just do this for you. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. Three things you need that I've realized now from my time here at the Canadian Hot Tub Company already that you're absolutely essential if you're gonna scale a business. Number one, you've gotta have a product that's properly priced, not a product that's priced or that you can make money with, but it's gotta be properly priced. Now in business today, if we're looking at products like this, physical products that we wanna buy, there are some standards in business that have been proven over the years that your products need to be priced at, at a minimum, if you're actually gonna make money. And that, that minimum profit level is about 40%. And what that means is when we sell these products, if we back out what it costs us for the wood, for the bands, for the, liners that we have inside of these tubs for all of the hot tub equipment that goes on along with it. So we pay for all that stuff and then we figure out what we charge our customers. There should be a 40% profit margin in there, 40 to 50 ideally. In the best world, I wanna to get to 50% because that's just the cost of goods, the cost of producing the product. But after you do that, out of all the other money you make, you've got to take out your operational expenses, your employee salaries, your building costs, all of your fixed costs, SG&A costs, all of these types of costs. And then whatever's left over at the end, you want it to be a 20 to 30% profit margin. So if you think about like, if you sell something for $10,000 and you have a 50% gross profit margin, meaning that you are just subtracting what it costs you to make the thing, then I'd be left with $5,000. Then if I subtract all of my expenses, employees, overhead, internet, phones, insurance, all of those fixed expenses, I never want to use more than 15% of the, of the gross sales to uh, cover that stuff. So that should leave me with a 30% profit margin. When we bought this business, what we found in our first couple of weeks is that we were at a gross profit margin of about 25%. So we had to radically change our pricing structure and that required us to go out into the market, see what our competitors were charging, see what it was gonna cost, and then make those decisions. Very, very important. So you gotta have a product that's properly priced. It's not so much about a, a product that people want. That, that's a given, that's obvious, but I'm talking about scaling a business. If you don't get your pricing proper, you can't scale. Because as you scale, depending on the industry you're in, your expenses are gonna go up and down. Some industries, when you sell things to people, the more you sell, the more money you make. Others, it's the opposite of that. So you gotta know your industry well, you gotta know your business well, but I'm talking about three things for scaling. You have to have a product that's properly priced. The second thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need the people. I'm gonna say the expertise in the setup. So when we first bought this company, what we actually had in here was three people that were incredibly smart and brilliant at what they did. And we've got the shop set up into two sides where we've got hot tubs being made over here, we've got covers being made over here. Now we get 
tons of orders um, for hot tubs, but we also get about double the orders for covers because our covers are amazing. They're unique in the market. We don't know of any other company that actually makes hot tub covers like we do. And here's the thing. Anybody that has a hot tub will tell you that the hot tub will last 15 to 20 years, but the cover will deteriorate within seven years. So every year, two million different people need new covers. Now, again, I'm talking about scaling the business, not is it a good business or not. You already have to assume that you've got a business that's a good business. So what you want to do if you want to scale is figure out where your expertise lies and highly incentivize those people to become teachers and trainers. So in the shop, we had three people that were brilliant and have been here for a long time. We gave them raises, we made them managers, and now we're hiring other people that are being trained by them. So now in the shop, we have 10 people. And we retooled the way it's set up. So I worked with those three people experience and I asked them, how can we change the setup in the shop so we can produce more? So we want to optimize production. But I, I could sit here and say, hey, in order to scale, you got to optimize production. But it all comes back to experience, having those experienced people. If you have experienced people in your operation, you can do anything with them. And so when we looked at this company and we were thinking about buying it, the biggest thing I was concerned about is were the experienced people with expertise going to go on the ride with us? Because if they do, everything gets easier. And then the third thing, if you have those things, if you have your products properly priced and you've got experienced managers that will go on the journey with you, the third thing is, is a pipeline for new customers. And that's the part that I knew I could handle with my marketing experience. We've already launched a new funnel system that we're testing right now. And we know we're going to be able to triple or quadruple the amount of orders that we're coming in. So we've already figured out with the changes in the staff, how many more new people, how many more new products can we sell on a week? And then we're going to implement a system and start selling more to scale the business. Anyway, I could talk for hours about other things that we need to scale a business, but there's a good start for you. And... This is also a little update for my dear friends who became partners with me and lent us the money to do this to give you guys an update on where we're actually at. If you liked this video and you want me to do more videos about our journey scaling the hot tub company, just go into the chat and give me some feedback. We'll see you soon.